Hey moms, welcome back to my channel, Infinitely Guided Tarot. I'm CJ. How you doing, Sagittarius? I hope all is well with you and yours, and I'm wishing you all love, light, peace, and blessings. I'm sending my love to you. So, Sagittarius, when I was honing in on your energy, I felt that someone was sending their love to you. As I said that, it's like I feel sex in the air. I feel a lot of sexiness. I feel a lot of love. But I also feel a lot of player from the Himalaya energy in this. I feel like somebody was in all the way and somebody wasn't. I feel like somebody got hooked on it too. Hooked on phonics with this person, this connection. So before we get into it, we know tarot energy is fluid. It can speak to past, present, or future energies. Roles can be reversed with block transposed throughout the message. It is all energy. It doesn't matter if it's feminine energy or masculine energy. It's all energy. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. In the past, there's somebody here who was either ghosted or they blocked someone, okay? Leaving someone else feeling like they were left out in the cold. I do feel the energy where there was this knight of wands that did that, okay? This is the non-committal person for me, but it's just like a, a person with a young, um, immature mindset because they're confident... Their confidence level is so high, they attract a lot of attention. They're usually very um, fit, they're very handsome, and they're very charming, okay? And they move around, okay? They definitely get around. So I feel like somebody feels left out in the cold behind a fire sign, okay? Or it could be an herb sign. Um, but then we have the Knight, Knight of Cups here, which is a very loving, gentle... Um, a charmer as well, um, but a very spiritual person, a person with good intentions, right? See, this person is plucking the petals of a rose here. They love me, they love me not. They love me, they love me not. Somebody is feeling lonely, okay? Someone is missing this person, okay? For some of you, after a breakup, someone is charging towards you, okay? But somebody else here... Okay, and there are a lot of people in this card, in these cards already, three people. But there is a king here who's not playing those types of games, okay? There's a king here who's making intelligent decisions, um, using their cerebral, okay? They're not using their heart in this matter. They're having a conversation. Um, they want to have a conversation about a connection, okay? Because... Excuse the background noise, guys. But because they are not with it, okay? They're not with the competition. They're not with um, stressing out over no relationship. They're not with stressing out over no sex. They're not with it. And I feel like they shut it down, okay? I feel like this person shut it down, okay? All right? I feel like somebody here was trying to take control over this partnership, okay? Somebody wanted Nine of Pentacles. Somebody wanted, um, somebody thought that this would perhaps lead to their Ten of Pentacles in the long run, okay? They tried to take control over this partnership, but it just didn't happen that way, okay? It just didn't happen that way because somebody had choices, okay? Somebody had options, okay? Somebody was dipping their toe in a lot of cups. It was definitely a three-party situation here, and I feel like because someone found that out, Okay, they got their heart broken by this. You may be dealing with a Capricorn, okay? But somebody got their heart broken. But I feel like the player in this, the player is the one who ghosted somebody. Because with the double energy here, okay, this person is setting them free. It says the angel of freedom, okay? What you guys don't know, whoever, you know, whoever this is, what they don't know, the person feeling this loss, is that it was actually um, Spirit God Source that brought you through this. Okay. All right. It was actually luck on your side by this happening here. Somebody was overthinking this and somebody had a whole plan on how this connection was supposed to be. Okay. That's, that's, that's what I'm feeling. And they were, you know, they were very sad when this soulmate, um, connection didn't go in the way that they wanted it to go. Again, I do feel like somebody tried to take control over this connection and they just couldn't, they couldn't control this person. Okay. I couldn't control this person. I do feel a lot of uh, sexual energy, okay? All right? Yeah. So what was happening, yeah, see, this person with the seven of swords here, they were very deceptive. Mm -hmm. They were very deceptive in this connection. They couldn't tame. They couldn't. They couldn't tame the beast within them. This is a very lusty card, okay? All right? 
um, somebody else here, they try to, again, control this connection. They try to control this commitment, okay, and move it forward to victory. But somebody was just sneaky. That's what they were. They were just sneaky, okay, all right, and they kept hurting you over and over, I feel. Because so, I don't feel like this was just an overnight thing. I feel like you tried and tried. Okay? I do feel that you tried and tried. And it was burdensome. It was very burdensome. So somebody decided to take a pause and surrender. Okay? Surrender the burdens. Surrender the the burdens. Surrender the heartache. Surrender the, the pain. Surrender the overthinking. Surrender, surrender, surrender is what I feel. And um, Spirit God Source gave you balance. Okay? To get over these burdens. Okay? All right. And so I do feel like some of you may have moved away. For others of you, you may have traveled somewhere on vacation. For others of you, you may be thinking about doing that. And for others of you, um, there may be someone else coming towards your way here. Okay. But I do feel the energy where also this play up from the Himalayas may be trying to contact you. They may be blowing up your phone. You know, as soon as you pull your energy away, that's what they, they want to do. Right. There's a new journey ahead because you have... Some of you may meet an cancer. Some of you may meet a cancer. Um, Sagittarius, this is you here with spirit here. Um, temperance, providing you patience, providing you um, calm and peace, providing you balance here. And these are both cards of balance, right? Balancing the masculine and feminine energies here, okay? Giving you peace, giving you comfort, okay? Spirit guiding you towards your blessings. Your nine of cups, your wish, your true wish fulfillment. Okay, but there was a hell of a journey here. There was a hell of a journey here. Spirit God Source, can we? Um, you know what? First, yeah, let's clarify the cards and then. So yeah, I do want to say, um, Sagittarius, there is a link to my um, IG below where I sell crystals and jewelry and spiritual cleanses if you're interested check that out okay holy spirit can we clarify the cards on the board for sagittarius sun moon rising venus people let's clarify the cards on the board for sagittarius sun moon rising venus people yeah you could be dealing with a pisces you could be dealing with a fire sign a cancer a scorpio an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, okay? You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with anybody, guys, okay? Holy Spirit, let's clarify. Yeah, see? Ooh, you see that? Endings and new beginnings and divine timing. Spirit God Source stepping in, turning things in your favor here. You're going to be getting your blessings. Mm hmm Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is for Sagittarius, someone rides the Venus people. What's the strength card here for, Sagittarius? What's the strength card, Holy Spirit, for Sagittarius? Some will rise and be in this people. So we have the burdens. We also have making a judgment call, right? Contemplating. Stepping back, looking at things from a different perspective. Is this worth my time and energy? Is this worth investing in? it was quite burdensome but I feel like um, what happened was somebody decided to take their pentacle away mm -hmm. because there was no equal give and take in the situation yeah there was confusion so you took a step back because there was competition in this relationship see okay there was competition there was a lot of talk there was um other folks mixed up in this connection. So somebody decided to take a step back. And I do feel like it was revealed to you that this person had other suitors. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And so then there was quiet, right? Some of you may have been dealing with a Virgo, but this is the thing. Somebody is reflecting back on this journey with this person. And like I said, it has been revealed that this person had other suitors. And so you stop speaking to them. There was a there was a ghost thing, I feel, or there was a blocking. Okay? Because enough is enough. You were hurt too many times. 
if this is a connection where you were um, fully invested in like a, a marriage or a a long term commitment, still enough was enough. Okay, you weren't happy with what you were getting. Someone was always trying to one up you. Someone was always trying to be sneaky, and I feel like some of you gave this person enough rope to hang themselves. You see, because it was always conflict with this person, always. And so it's because you love this person, you truly, truly love this person. This this action here put you at a crossroad because they were always trying to one up you. See, they were always trying to one up you. Mm -hmm. You were unhappy with what they were giving you. Okay. All right. Somebody is sitting there with the hand folded. Like, I don't want this. This is not what I, this wasn't what you wanted. Okay. So here comes spirit, God, source, divine, stepping in, turning the wheel in your favor here. Okay. Turning the wheel. But some of you don't even realize that this new opportunity and love is going to give you your nine of cups. You don't know that that's going to be your wish fulfillment because you're too focused on the three cups that the three cups of disappointment here that this person has has done. OK, that this person has um, created for you in your world. Holy Spirit, what's this eight of wands? Yeah, so we have the Hierophant reversed, the Knight of Cups reversed. And the hangman reverse. This is somebody receiving enlightenment. And again, somebody moving. Somebody's out. Okay? Now, I don't know if somebody left the marriage. But somebody definitely self-sabotaged. Somebody self-sabotaged this spiritual connection. Okay? Somebody self-sabotaged a spiritual connection. With this knight of cups. Um, Yeah, we saw it up here, right? The knight of cups? Yeah. Spirituality spirituality okay this was a divine connection a spiritually you know a spiritually divine connection here that somebody messed up somebody self-sabotaged it but somebody came to their senses and decided to move on with this eight of wands spirit of source what is this ten of swords oh that's a lot of cards okay so the three of wands fell out so this is one this is somebody looking forward to the future past this ten of swords or Sagittarius someone rising Venus people what is this ten of swords holy spirit right here or Sagi oh hard foul someone has some choices to make here someone looking forward Figuring out a plan here. Wanting to make the best choice for themselves. They may be a little confused as what to do. But Spirit God Source is here giving you guidance. Giving you patience. Giving you enlightenment. And giving you what it is that you need to make the right decision here. Okay. You're moving past this ten of swords. I know that. You know what I mean? You're looking out to your future. Maybe some of you couldn't move right away. So you had to make plans. Okay, to move out or to move across a body of water. Holy Spirit. Yeah, somebody has taken off the blindfolds. Okay. All right. In regards to this um, betrayal, somebody has taken off their blindfolds. They're in their feelings, but they're going to get over it. Mm -hmm. They're going to get over it. They know that this person is a sneaky person. They know that this person has taken their love for granted. They know that this person has left them feeling... They know that this person has done this to them, see? So now what you're going to do is you're going to focus on work and you're going to figure out a plan on how to move forward here. Yeah, see? You're making magic happen. You're making magic happen. You're standing up for yourself here, okay? If this is about um, a connection, you may have been married or you may have found out this person was actually married with children. Yeah, yeah. They may have had a whole family and didn't tell you about it. And that's why they would disappear, come back, contact you, be gone for a while. You know those red flags, okay? Mm -hmm. So someone found the courage to walk away. For some of you, I feel like you may have knew about this um, connection that this person had with someone else. And you decided to stay anyway and try to take control of the relationship and try to pull them your way. But it didn't work out that way. It didn't work out that way. 
okay it just left you feeling bad let's pull but look in the future energies which we will clarify in the extended you have the chariot which is success which is a fast forward movement in balance successfully moving forward in balance in a commitment okay and spirit is here guiding you or you're the person that you love i'm not sure you know what your story is but spirit is here guiding to your nine of cups your wish fulfillment your true blessings okay and like i said up here spirit was trying is trying to show you that okay there's a gift coming in from the universe this is the universe moving you in a new direction here past all of these hurts okay past all of this Holy Spirit, can we bring out a tell all truth card for Sagittarius, Summarize and Venus people? So contact will be made. See, this new person, they are single for real, for real. Okay. Because someone's coming towards you. Contact will be made. Oh my goodness. Spirit is talking to you. Wow. This is amazing. Okay. This is amazing. Yeah, the person that you were dealing with before, um, who was trying to take, a, who was trying to control you. I just heard bedroom bully. They were bully. One card has person. See, you have new love coming. You don't even know it. New love. So this was in reverse. Give us, give your relationship a chance. This is, it is safe for you to love. You're going to have passion. You may have had passion with this past person, but you're going to have new passion, okay? And you do deserve love. It was in reverse. You do deserve love. Love is coming for you. If you open your heart, if you, um, you know, listen to Spirit God Source because Spirit is talking to you. So look within for the answers. Contact will be made. They are single for real. Sagittarius, this is what I have for you. Don't go back to this bedroom bully because they are married and they stressed you the fuck out. Okay? All right? I love you. You deserve love. Remember that. Like, subscribe, share, comment below until I see you again. Namaste.